Hey guys, welcome back to Brown Candy Aquariums. Today I'm going to show you a easy way to get rid of cyanoalgae. Uh, this is only a temporary fix. Um, it's going to continue to grow back if your light's on for too long or you've got too much bad bacteria in here, which I kind of have going because I get pretty busy. But um, it's very hard to take out because it, it's stringy and it holds down to the rock. So if you were to just grab it and throw it away, it would all get stuck uh, to the rock. So I found a very good way to get rid of it and I'm going to show you how to do that today. All right, so what you're gonna need for this is this tube that I'm gonna use as a suction. Uh, you can buy these at Walmart or anywhere, or even Petco. And this container to hold water, and this little thing to keep your fish safe. So I did have an accident in the past in which I was doing this, and this pesky little fellow here uh, went in the tube. And so I had to cut the tube and save his life, and it was very scary. And so I do not want that to happen to you or any of your fish. So what I've got here is just some netting from some old, uh, filter mini that I had and a hair tie and I'm gonna wrap this around the end of the tube so that they can't get stuck in it so all right so what I'm gonna do is kind of find this little opening that I have cut for it I'm gonna slide my tube in there like that and then wrap the hair tie around it like that and boom so now water can easily get in but no fish are gonna get in there so there we go all right let's unplug the filter so it doesn't run dry in the heater so that it doesn't burn up as you can see here, if I go to pick it up, you see how it's kind of stringy like this and it sticks to the rocks? That's what we're going to avoid by using this, this uh, tube. Alright, so I didn't get all of it. I'm going to get that corner, but I am going to dump some of the water out so that I have more area to put more water in. What I did with this thing though is I noticed the cyanoalgae doesn't go inside of this very well. So if you're just sucking water out of the tank, definitely use this, but if not, just be extremely careful and don't let your fish get nearby. All right, so we've got some of the water dumped out. Obviously I didn't dump out my sand because this is what we're gonna be washing out. Make sure all the algae gets off of that. All right, so now I'm gonna run some water underneath this and just mix it all around and get all this algae out. I'm gonna keep pouring, I'm gonna keep pouring it out and then putting water in and mixing it around some more. All right, so now I'm gonna put this leftover sand back in the tank. All right, I got my salt water made. Now I'm gonna put it back in the tank using this tube. All right, so it's all done. I've got the water put back in. So that is how you clean the bottom of the tank if you have cyanoalgae. That's the easiest way to do it. So say bye, fishy.